Looking for a new stamp for your Q1200 then? Then this is the video for you. Don't forget to use the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi, we're Vance. So if you remember, only three months ago, I bought the Weber Q1200N. I have got a follow-up review video coming for that. So today, we're going to be checking out the new portable car that Weber have brought out for the Q1200N, and apparently, it works for the original Q1200. So let's get this unboxed. See how good it is, and if it's a better upgrade than the original Weber Q portable car. Let's jump straight into it. Now look at the box on the outside. It looks like it's a reasonable sturdy car. Now the dimensions of the box, it's just under three foot long and just under two foot wide. Now on the front it says it's compatible with the original Q Baby Q and the Q2000 and 2200. It is the main portable car for the new Q1000 N, 1200 N and the 2000 and 2200 N. So let's get this unboxed and see how good it is. Okay, so like the original Baby Q car, it does come with five pieces. It comes with an assemble guide as well. In the cardboard box, I'm assuming that's the wheels, and because I, I remember I had to stick the wheels on, but it does come with that gas bottle support for your nine and a half kilo or 10 pound gas bottle as well. Now there will be a link down in the description below for one of these if you want to grab one. Right in the box you have 14 different components and according to the instructions, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver to assemble it. So in our cardboard box, we've got an assembling components. We should have two tops for the top of the cart. We've got two wheels for the cart. We've got two hubcaps and we've got some cotton pins in there as well and a couple of screws. We're gonna start with the top and we're just gonna place that on the box so it doesn't get damaged right side and just turn that upside down. We've got our support frame, we're just gonna remove that from the bag. Slot our trolley car into the frame. So we're gonna slot our lower support frame in. Okay, so now that's in place, you can see here we've got a little hole, so these will slide up. We've got an axle that slides through there. Now looking at it from the side, we've got an adjustment slider here. So the internal one is for the older Q1000, Q1200, and the outer one is for the newer models. So the Q1000N, 1200N, 2000N. The footprint is roughly the same as a Q2000 for the 1000N and the 1200N. So these slot in on the outside, and as you can see, we've got two positions, Q1000N and Q2000. So that's the old, that's the 2200 and that's the Q2000 or 1200 in. If you've got the older style Q, then these go on the inside here. Exactly the same on the other side.
Now before you fit your Q, make sure these are fully slid back. Do that on both sides. I'm gonna grab our Q1200N or 1000. As you slot that on, slide that forward, locating two lugs either side, and slide your pin at the front so it locks in the back of this leg. And the same on the other side. Connect your bottle. So then gas. You're ready to start cooking on your Q1200N with your new portable cart. Now looking at the stand, it seems to be a lot sturdier. There's a lot thicker steel on there. And movability wise, you literally lift it up. It's got the gas bottle attached. And you can move that around with ease. What I found with the other Baby Q1 is that when you lifted that up, it did pop out the stand and it was awkward because it kept popping out as you're trying to wheel it around. So you'd have to hold it with both hands to wheel it around. But this, one hand, and that's got a nine and a half kilo bottle or 10 pound bottle of gas, and it's pretty simple to wheel around and maneuver in your back garden. The question is, what's it like for portability? Let's remove this gas bottle and see how good it lowers down. So you put your foot on the base, give that a lift, and down she lowers. With your gas hose, I find just pop your gas hose in there, lift that up, and that's ready to wheel to the beach. And even to lift it to the car and put it in the boot is easy. Is it worth the money? Is it worth the investment? And what are the benefits? Let's jump into my final thoughts. Now don't forget, if you're using the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. So make sure you check those out at the end of the video. Now I hope you enjoy that quick assembly of the new Q1200 and Q2000 portable cart by Weber. So you can see it assembles really easy. It takes around 10 minutes. It is really simple to assemble and there's barely minimum parts that you need to put together. And it's a massive improvement over the previous version. Wheeling it around, you're seeing it, portability. It's fantastic, it just lowers down with ease. You're not struggling to wheel it across when you're walking across that beach. Obviously I didn't do it on a beach, but, <laughs> but you can see it's really easy. Even pushing it around with a gas bottle, you just lift that one end with a handle. It's not popping out like it did with the original Baby Q1. It works really, really well. I think Weber have done some massive improvements with this. They've made it more stable, well worth the money, brilliant. Even if you've got an older Q, it's fantastic to get one of these. If you haven't already got that original portable stand, it is a massive improvement over it. I'm giving this at least a nine out of 10 purely for the quality of it and the portability it is superb whether you've done a fantastic job on this new portable car if you're in the states i'm not sure if this is out yet so whether if you're listening anyone who's in the us please 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 make sure you ship it to the people in the us as well as australia it's a bit unfair that australia seems to get all the q products and America don't, especially when 99% of those products are built in Chicago. For those of you struggling to clean your old baby Q, check out this video next. And for those of you looking at cooking the perfect pork crackle, check out this video next. So thanks for watching, happy grilling, and I'll catch you next one.